the Ford Zumwalt School District is the sixth largest district in Missouri. Over the past decade, the district has grown to around 19,000 students. There is no one in the community who's accomplished more for public education than Dr. Bernard Debray. And his distinguished career in Ford Zumwalt makes him one of the longest tenured superintendents in the state. Dubray started his career in the Pattonville School District. Shortly after that, he became a principal in Orchard Farm. And I had the opportunity to follow Larry Doyle, who was uh, with Orchard Farm, and then he became the superintendent in Fort Zumwalt. So in 1982, I had the opportunity to come to Fort Zumwalt. Uh, we had about 8,000 students, pretty, pretty large district, but not near what we are today, and uh, but had a budget of about $17 million. Uh, and I had a chance to learn under Larry, who had been the finance guy there before he became superintendent. And uh, it was just a, a great opportunity to come to a bigger district and to come to one that was just uh, on the cusp of starting to grow. In 1985, Dr. Dubray took over as superintendent of the Fort Zumwalt School District and has never looked back. Over the years, Dubray oversaw the construction of eight elementary schools, two middle schools, and four high schools. And through the growth, Dubray has always kept a steady hand. Plus, he's learned a thing or two along the way. The bigger you get, first of all, the more demands there are on your time. They want you to be a community leader, and you have to step up to the plate. Um, you speak to a lot of groups. So uh, there's no doubt in my mind that when I started in 19... 85 as superintendent, I didn't have near um, the skill level that I have now, and that's just part of that growing right along with the district. Education has definitely changed throughout the years, and Dr. Dubray has seen it firsthand in Fort Zumo. It's so much more complex today, the educational process. Um, you know, when I started, it was pretty much a textbook, a workbook, and a teacher. And now it's a textbook, a workbook, a computer, a software program, the data is unbelievable. What we can do today, uh, the, the high stakes testing that goes on, uh, the data we receive, uh, it's a much more scientific approach to education. We can zero in on a group of kids or an individual kid and we can find out what their problems are. And then it's a question of how do you fix that? All the time spent helping to oversee our children's education has to get tiring after three decades on the job. You have to wonder what keeps Dr. Debray coming back doing? school year after doing? school year. We all do it because it's a, it's a little bit of a calling. It's not a job. We get our pay here, but we come back day after day because of what is happening with kids. We think we've made a difference. And I think most of the parents at graduation time uh, feel that way and tell me that as well. So it's the kids. So what does the future hold for Dr. Dubray? I like what I'm doing. I, I think I, uh, I'm still making a positive difference. Um, nice, people tell me that. Have um, fun. And I, I just kind of take it a day at a time. I do know that at whatever point I've decided, it, I, I decide that it's time uh, to, uh, to go on. Uh, you know, it'll be spending more time with my wife and, and doing things with grandkids. It takes a strong leader to be responsible for the education of 19,000 students. And Dr. Dubray has continued to make the Fort Zumwalt School District one of the best in the state. In the end, all that's really left to say is thank you.